Welcome to this video where we are going to build your first Python project. So you are excited about learning the Python programming language or you don't know where to start, you don't know what to do, I encourage you to start with this project because this project, as simple as it looks, it has a lot of information packed inside and what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be printing out a receipt. So you go to your favorite grocery store, uh, you buy stuff there and then they give you this receipt. So that Andy receipt that you have been shown in the store, we're going to use Python to print it out. So basically follow along with this project and I'll show you how to do this uh, step by step. Don't worry, I'll explain everything, all the basic concept, all the Python basic concept that you're supposed to learn to be able to write this code, to be able to uh, reproduce this project rather, we're going to talk about everything. So if this is your first time learning Python, I strongly recommend that you start with something like this, with this project, uh, as opposed to just learning, just picking up data and just storing them into your brain without actually doing something. So this project, you are going to learn and then we'll reproduce something. And uh, after the project, I'm sure you'll be excited to continue on your journey of learning Python. So if that's the case, hit the subscribe button, like this video and share with others because I have more content like this for beginners, intermediate level and much advanced level guys. So let's get started and let's build this project. So this is what we're going to reproduce, this receipt. So and also you can see on the right, I've listed out all the Python basic concept that you're going to pick along by just trying to reproduce this receipt. So we have three sections and these three sections we're going to be learning uh, this. We're going to be talking about Python variables, data types, how to print stuff in Python, how to use date and time in Python, how to do some common string manipulations. That is just uh, make some changes to your string. We're going to explain what a string is. Don't worry if you don't know what a string is. We're going to talk about string formatting, uh, indexing and slicing. We're going to make use of escape characters. So we have a lot to talk about and I will explain everything. So how did this project came about? I was just thinking, what project can I do to help someone that is just starting out uh, in Python learn better? Then I thought of this particular project. So I literally just went on Google and I searched grocery receipts and I picked this receipt, which we are going to reproduce today. Uh, let's start coding. Don't worry, you're not going to install anything. We're going to do this in the browser and I'll show you everything step by step. I am going to do that. So let's get into it. So like I said, you're not going to install anything. You're not going to install any uh, software to write this code. We're going to make use of repulate.com. So on your browser, navigate to this website. I'll drop the link in the description below as well. But yes, what we're going to write and run our code. So let's start building. So you want to navigate to Python right there. You see uh, that template for Python. Then you can also uh, pick other programming languages because, because Repulate is a platform that lets you write code in the browser. So you can write other programming languages uh, code. So let's select Python and let's start building. So you want to provide the title of your uh, repo yet. So I'll, I'll just call my something. Or I'll just use what they have right there and then I'll create repo. So that actually uh, spin up this uh, interface where we're going to write our Python code. So you can see on the left side, we have main.py, which is basically the file where we write all the code and then we have some packager files. We're not going to get into the advanced part of this. Just know that when you have your code written, you want to click on this run button and then it will show on the console right there. You can also make use of the shell terminal, uh, but we're not going to talk about that. So the first thing we want to do here is to import the library we want to make use of. So what is a library? A library is a Python package that has some uh, functions already uh, written inside and then you can use that to basically uh, reproduce or write some other functions. So we're going to make use of the date time library, which will give us some methods which are going to basically use to print out the date. So you want to uh, write import date time. Uh, so it's spelled date time. So you're basically importing the date time library. I'm basically going to use this library much later on in the code. So we also want to comment. So I want to comment above right there and say import library. So what does it mean to comment in Python, right? To comment in Python, we use the hash comment and then we write some text. Basically, this text is not going to get run by the compiler. Uh, what this means is we're not doing anything, right? We're just writing a statement and it won't affect the code. So, uh, so we call that comment, call that comment and let's move right ahead to building uh, what we want to build. Uh, the next thing to do is going back to this uh, receipt, 
The next thing we actually want to do is how can we represent this information? The super grocery mat, how can we represent that? And the address for this store. So we're going to make use of variables. We're going to store this information in what we call variables. So variables is one of the most important uh, beginner level concepts in Python programming. They allow us to save values in memory and using the name we we'll assign to uh, them. And we're going to basically use that much later on in the program. So what I'm saying is this name we'll see right here and the address, we're going to represent that using a data type called string data type. And that's just like, you can think of it as just like text. So like I said, we're going to use variables to store it. And that works like how we store information in our brain. Uh, variables are stored on the computer memory, which you can access them later by referencing the name we make use of. So if I say my name is Blessing and I have a variable that is uh, storing that information named Blessing, if I need that name uh, later on much in the program, I can easily grab that. So let's do that for this project, this receipt. I'm going to store this store name and the address and also the cashier's name as variable so let's do that so we're going to come right here down and say uh, we're going to say store information so this is a comment like i said this is not this does not affect our code in any way uh the next thing we're going to do is to store the name the store name and the store address and the cashier's name into a particular variable so how to do that is you say store underscore name which is the variable name that we want to make use of and then we're going to use two quotes to represent string in python so we're going to say super grocery or uh, smart rather math so we're going to say this is the name of the store uh, so we're holding this to this variable name store name and this is how you write variable in python this is the convention so the space in between the names you use underscore to represent that so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to represent the address so instead of me typing it out i will actually just copy and paste that but you also want to go ahead to write that in your program so we have the address which is a string as well text information uh, and then we are storing it to this store street variable the phone number store phone number then the cashier name we're storing it to the cashier name variable which is jen smith the next thing we want to do is going back to our receipt the next thing we want to represent is the date and time. So, like I said, we're going to make use of the date time library to actually generate this. And we'll see how we're going to render it beautifully uh, much later on in this tutorial. So, let's use the uh, library which we've imported to uh, run this. So, to, for this tutorial, you're going to use the current date time. And I'm going to, so going to do that for my own uh, current date time. So, I'll say now. I'll store that as now. And I'll say date time which is the library that i've imported right here and i'm going to access some function from there or some method so i'll access the date time method dot now so this gives me the current time that is the current time when i run the program it gives that and then we're going to print that on the receipt another thing we want to do is we want to format this date time we want to make it look like what we have right here or something that makes sense that looks like date time for that we're going to use a particular method called strf time which actually returns a string representing the date uh, controlled by the explicit format string which we are going to specify and how do we do that uh, we're going to say date time so the variable that we use is called date time equals to the now which holds uh, the current date time it holds that particular value so we're going to generate the year month day and the hour minute seconds and this is how we're going to do that we're going to call off this particular uh, method you can see writing that in a uh, repo lit it brings it up so we're going to make use of this method and we're going to pass in a particular format you can see which basically display the date the uh year the month and the day and our minute seconds uh, if you look at this uh receipt see how it's been displayed but i'll use a particular format that i love using which is basically like this you want to have the code sign and you want to have the percentage sign which is just like a placeholder for this format so you want to have your year first dash i want dash in between the year and then you have this percent and then you have the month dash uh, percent you have the day and i want uh the hour after right after that then I want this colon as well. Then I, you have the percent. I want the minute after that to so have M and then you have the column as well. 
then you have this same uh for seconds so this way our date will turn out something like this we have where we have the year coming in coming out first followed by the month the day of course this is different this looks like the month first the day followed by the day then followed by the year of course this looks somehow different this looks like the month first which is five and then the day 15 and then the year uh, so but our format is year first a month day hour minute seconds so basically what we did here is to just display the current date and current time just like we have it in the receipt so let's move further the next thing we want to do is we want to represent the grocery uh details where we have grocery we have a particular product and we have the price we have a particular product and we have the price i want to actually represent this and how do we do that we make use of the variables and a particular string data type and also a float data type why float if you look at this we have two decimal places and float are data type to represent decimal values in python so we want to represent 4.99 1.99 0.96 so we'll make use of float data type and we're going to do that in this next section where we're going to display the product name and then the product price so let's do that so the first thing we want to do is if you take a look at this we have this spaghetti sauce product i want to write that so let's do that then i'll go back to my code i'll say uh comment again to just to explain my code just to let you know what i want to do product name and price so then that should follow by the product name and then the product price for spaghetti sauce and then the price. So to save space, I'll do this by saying P1 underscore name. And like I said, that's the variable name of the product name. So that's the variable name to store the information of that particular product. Then I want to have another variable name P1 underscore price. So Python lets you do this. Have one variable here and other variable here. And then you have corresponding value to hold that. So I want to have a particular string for SGM spaghetti sauce. Yeah, great. So then I'll follow by comma and then the corresponding price, 4.99. So if we go back to the receipt, we have a couple of these. We have SGM spaghetti sauce. So don't bother to write this in capital letter right now. So I'll show you a string manipulation method, which I'm going to use to manipulate this string and convert it from lower case to uppercase and that's why i said we're going to learn about string manipulation there are a couple of methods for string manipulation i will only cover a few of that here and as you begin to learn python as you begin to dive deep into your python knowledge you can pick up a couple of methods to do string manipulation so let's represent other product i'll get back to my code right here uh, so as not to make this tutorial very long i've copied that and then you just paste that so you can type this out i'll also leave the link to this code in the description below so you can copy and write all these variables by yourself or just copy and paste that so we have product two price two uh, the product name and then the corresponding price take note this is float is in two decimal place so that's the data type that we're learning so we have all this up until the seventh product uh, going back to the receipt that's what you see so then we also want to say item underscore sold so that's the total item and we have seven items so this data type is called the integer data type we just represent uh your normal number and like i said seven uh, is an integer so integer they are positive or negative or numbers without decimal place so you don't have decimal two decimal places like you do uh, in this float data type so the next thing we want to do is to actually perform some calculations so why do we need to perform calculations let's go back to the receipt as you can see right here we have subtotal which represents the total price of all these seven products and they want to add the full tax of six percent which is six percent of the subtotal the total price and then the grand total which is adding this full tax to this subtotal so we want to perform this calculation and we're going to do that right now so to perform calculation, we, we have the plus sign, the multiplication sign, and then we're going to use that to perform this calculation. So all we need to do is add all the seven products together and then multiply the full tax, that is the subtotal with the percentage of the full tax. So let's do that. So in our replicate code, you're going to say subtotal, which is the name of the variable, subtotal equals to P1 price plus p2 underscore 
price so you can see we're making use of the variables that we stored so we're making use of the information by referencing the uh, variable name so we're going to do that for seven products so we're going to do up until p7 price so i have my p1 price up until p7 price so that's adding all these prices together to arrive at the subtotal price so you can add another comment here that says uh calculate so and that just represents subtotal then the next thing we want to do we want to calculate the food tax so calculate food tax so we want to calculate food tax how then do you calculate food tax calculate food tax by multiplying six percent to the subtotal so you have another variable name that says food tax equals to sub underscore total multiply this is the multiplication sign in python 0 0.06 your six percent is 0 0.06 which means six over 100 so that's six percent and we have the result of that information stored in full tax so then let's do let's calculate the grand total price which is essentially adding full tax to subtotal so calculate grand price so you say grand underscore total equals to sub underscore total plus food underscore tax so basically we are referencing the variable that holds the total price the total price for all the products and we are adding into the variable that holds the price uh, for food tax so and that will give us grand total which are storing in grand total variable so that's essentially all the variables that we need to print out this receipt so before i forget we need to uh our variable to hold this string this message so we need return message and we also need appreciation message so the return message we have that here and we display the appreciation me message right after that so let's now get back to repolate and we're going to insert that there so this represents the return message which says no returns on meat product and make product and we're saving that as a string of course it's a string text information and then appreciation message thank you for your business or thank you for your patronage wherever just have that represented as a string and we're basically done storing all the necessary information into variable name the next thing we want to do is to print out this information how then do we print out uh, everything to make it look nice like this add in all these spaces and making sure everything looks nice so that's where print formatting or printing statement and using escape characters comes in i'm also going to make use of string indexing and slicing and i will explain that much later so the first thing we want to do is to print out this header section we want to print out the store name the store street uh, the phone number and then the cashier name so let's get right to that and also the date so let's print that going back to replicate i'll write out i want to print out particular uh, header so i'll say print and how do you print in python you make use of the print statement and then you pass in the particular value to basically print that so let's say i want to print the store name i'll say print store uh, underscore name and then i'll print out this variable and then it will show in the console so running that you see the name of the store in the console super grocery mart so of course i don't want it like this i want to add a little bit of formatting and to make it look nice so that's basically where our formatting string comes in so to format string in python we make use of uh, what we call the f string and basically how that work is we have a particular keyword uh f so f is the keyword and then you put that into code sign and then the value that you want to print you pass that into this curly bracket so to repeat it again you have this uh f string here and then you have these two code sign where you have what you want to print inside so let me remove this store name right here so this is the format for uh, f string so it's called string formatting uh passing this variable name into it and then printing it out again into the console it does the same thing to print super grocery mat so all i need to do is to format this the way i want it and then everything will look nice just like we have in the receipt so i'll go right ahead of course what i want is i want this store name to show as a title case so I want to capitalize S, I want to capitalize G, I want to capitalize math. So to do that in Python, I'll use what we call the type 2 method. So I'll say dot type 2. So basically, I'm using this dot type 2 method to manipulate the string that we have right here. 
So like I said, we can use this particular built-in function. So doing this, make this look like uh, this, uh, basically the title case, so super grocery mat. So this is how you work with string and then you manipulate the string. So we have more string manipulation method. We have replace, we have find, we have strip, and we're not going to talk about that in this tutorial, but as you get more Python knowledge, you begin to pick up this method. And this is how to write to make use of the method on a particular string in Python. So because I want to do more than this, I want to basically I move this super grocery into somewhere in the middle and I'll use escape character for that. So how do you make use of escape characters in Python? So to use escape characters in Python, you have to use your backlash on your computer and then I'll use this particular T. So what this would print to the console is uh, this super grocery mat move somewhere by one tab, move to the right rather by one tab. As you can see, we have extra space after super grocery. So we can add more tabs. We can add uh, a few, I'll add three more to just push this super grocery mat uh, into the middle. So I'll begin to add one more. So T and then add another one. So I have four. So if you run that, uh, notice that I have my super grocery mat conveniently placed in the middle. So this is what I will go with and this is what I'll do for the remaining information. And then we'll have this address, the product prices, the cash out name, everything all nicely formatted, just like we have in the receipt. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make this more beautiful. I want to print something more above that looks like a bar. So I want to print, uh, I'm going to use asterisk to actually do that. So I want to print asterisk, uh, in 49 places uh so don't worry i'll explain what i mean when i run that uh you see we have this mm. we have this that just shows that goes above this super grocery mat kind of like uh an header bar so we have this asterisk i want it in 49 places so we're using this multiplication sign and python gives that in 49 places so if you count this you have 49 asterisks so let's move ahead to print more information uh, so I want to use this uh, format to print the address. So I'll just copy this code and then I'll replace what I have here with the store address. So we have store street rather. So uh, store street, I'm not going to use any string manipulation method because we use dot title here to manipulate the string to super grocery mat. I'm not using anything right here because we want the information presented where we have it. So once you run this, you have the street name or the store street name right here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to print out uh, the phone number. So the phone number comes after that. So I'll do this in the next line and say uh, store phone number. You want to run this and it will give this particular phone number just like it. So you can see that we have our receipts coming up uh, nicely together just the way we have it right here. So let's go back and let's continue. So another thing I want to have on that is I want to have this asterisk also come up 49 places to sort of just hold the address, uh, to just sort of hold it just the way we have it. So I have the header section all completed. The next thing I want to do is I want to print out the cashier name. Using the uh, string formatting, we're going to print out the cashier name and we're also going to say print, uh, like I said, the format is F, then you have your code sign, you have two code sign and then whatever you want to print in the middle. So usually you have two curly brackets and then the variable name that I want to print in the middle, just like we have for uh, these other examples. We have this curly bracket, you have this curly bracket and what we want to print in the middle. So because I want to print cashier and then the person's name, I will have cashier and then I will have uh, colon and then I will have my two curly bracket right here. And then the variable name that I used to store the cache name, I'll pass that right here. So basically, we we'll have this to print out the cache name into the console. So if you run that, you have the cache name, James Smith, into the console. So the next thing we want to do, according to the receipt, is print out the date information. So pay attention right here. I'm going to use what we call string indexing and slicing to print out this name. Uh, let me cover what that means and then I'll just explain the introductory concept to that. So if you are already familiar with this concept, 
feel free to skip ahead to where we have that printed or do it by yourself so basically i'm going to represent uh, a few boxes right here and then i'll have uh two kind of like arrows or something so i have hello right here in python the hello word is basically stored in the memory as shown so for me to index it uh we have something called the index location for this string and i will write that under so we have the index location for this is zero one two three four and so on so imagine if i want to access he right i'll access zero one if i want to access h e l l o so i'll access zero up to four so we're going to use this similar concept to basically grab this date uh, information and then grab the time information so let me go back to the code to explain that so to understand this much better uh, let's print out what we have right here so the date time that we have right here let's print it out let's print that and let's see what we have so if you print this into the console you have your date as shown so you have 2020 0, 12. like i said year comes first month uh then the day and then the time right so we want to grab this particular part of the string and then want to grab this particular part of the string so we can separate them out just the way it looks like on the receipt so to do this i'll use my uh, string formatting just like i mentioned and then use the index and uh, slicing that I've explained uh, just right now so let, let me add the f string uh, you add the f string uh, and then i'll just put this right here and then pass this into uh, a curly bracket uh, so i have that into the curly bracket and i want to grab 2022 up until 12 so if you count this 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 right so the way it kind of works in python is you go from 0 to 10 so that 10 python will count it and it will basically stop one before which is 9 so if i want this date to show only date to show alone i'll have to slice that out using what we call two square brackets so i'll kind of use this two square bracket and i'll say zero up until 10. so python will grab this information out for me from zero up until 10. so if i run this code i will have 2022 uh to drop great so again i can use this tab uh escape characters to print out the date so to do this i'll basically add the escape character into it to space out to use tab and space out then we'll have our date come somewhere right here so I'll, I'll use a lot of tab so i'll use a lot of tab say backspace t backspace t i'll use kind of like uh, eight let's try with eight and let's see if that would work well uh, so i have one more i need one more and bear mind you i'm doing everything inside this string inside this code and inside this code so i'll have my curly bracket again and i can just easily copy this uh, you can just copy this and then i'll paste this right here and for that it goes from 10 to the last uh, index so you want to have another close bracket close uh square bracket right here so you have 10 to the last index i don't know that but python allows us not to state the number so this picks from 10 uh, to the last line so if you run this let's run that and let's see what we have great you see we have our date showing right here and we have the time showing right here so i've been able to use the tab to uh equally space that and have my date show up somewhere right here and then sorry the date show up here and then the time show up here and i use what we call indexing and slicing to grab the date from the date time and then use indexing and slicing to grab the time from the date time so this is how it works and that's like a crash course on string uh indexing and slicing or formatting so let's move right ahead and point out more information also i want to have this nice uh asterisk but let's replace asterisk with uh, equals to so we have uh, our receipt coming up nicely going back to the picture you see we've done everything up onto this part let's do the second section which is displaying the grocery information and then the product information so i'm just going to go back to the code and then i'm going to print out grocery and then we'll print out the product name so printing out grocery is very simple 
we'll just print it out as grocery so print out grocery in capital letter although you can uh, store this as a variable use the uh, string manipulation method to manipulate this but it's just easy to do it like this so let's run that you see that the grocery comes out nice so i want to have it like this and then i want space in between this and what's to come so you print out uh just print out empty string so printing out empty string kind of like gives space in between so if we run this uh great we have space in between what we want to print so the next thing i want to do is i want to print out the product name and we have the variables up here mind you we have to do manipulation so we need to use a particular string method to change this to capital letter and then print that out so basically and also you are going to use your string formatting to and the escape character to uh, print out the product name and then the product price so pause this video and give that a try welcome back so if you've done that here's the solution so to do this here's the solution so you have f string like i've explained and then you have the product name and you're using this upper method to convert what you have as the product name to uh, uppercase or capital letter and then you have this escape character to add tab like i said computer just process this t as tab and then it adds that tab space in between the product name and then the product price so if you run this you see that you have a uh, spaghetti sauce and then you have the price you see that our receipt is coming up nicely so just pause this video and reproduce this for the remaining product and corresponding price welcome back if you've done that so the solution is just right here so i have the product name and i've experimented with a lot of uh, uh escape characters for tab and you can see that if i run this i will have my receipts come out nicely and we'll have equal uh spacing and we'll have everything just aligning beautifully in the console tab on the right so you can see everything from first product up until the last product so let's go ahead to print out uh, more stuff so the next thing i want to do is i also want to print out uh, a particular space and then have this nice uh, bar uh, to sort of just close this section and that will be done with the grocery section so let's do this uh, if you run this uh, you have this showing up beautifully so where you see that we're almost done we only need to just print out the uh the subtotal section the full tax and then the grand total and obviously i'll explain a little bit of concept right there so the first thing you want to do is you want to you might also want to experiment that if you go back to this you see that we have our subtotal and then we have the corresponding price so you might also want to experiment pause this video and try to do that on your own so to print out the subtotal we're going to make use of the f string and then the escape character so i'm going to paste out the solution and then i'll explain something before we move ahead so notice we, just like we have everything uh, right above we have the subtotal and then in between the subtotal we want some spaces uh and then the value right so you notice that i had a couple of space i've had theory space to actually just show that nicely let me run this uh so i have the tab and then i have space to make this align with what we have above uh, then you see something coming out uh, new what does this mean let me explain this so i want two decimal places so i kind of like uh remove this let me just remove this uh, and i'll run this so if i remove that you see what i have i have everything just uh presented to me in a format that i don't want so f string kind of like helps us to just format this into what we call two decimal places so f string which is the uh, string formatting gives us some format specifier to basically evaluate this the way we want it so you can see that this is the value and the way it works is the format is uh you have your value and then you have the colon and then you have what we call the width and then the precision so the width for this i'm not going to uh, state that i'm just going to state the precision so the precision is 2f i want two decimal place so if you run this it just gives this nicely into 2f so you go ahead to print out the full tax and then the grand total using what we've learned here so pause the video and try to reproduce that on your own great if you've done that so here's the solution so i have full tax notice that i have a couple of spaces right here i think i have about three spaces i'm also using format specifiers two decimal places for full tax and then grand total notice that i'm placing the dollar sign outside the curly bracket 
because we have the value into the curly bracket and then the dollar sign comes outside that so if you run this you have your value you have 1.37 dollars in two decimal places and you have 24.24 dollar for the grand total great we're almost done with this project and if you follow the video to this level commend yourself you've done great uh you can see that we've learned a lot of concept we've picked on variables data types uh string formatting indexing and slicing uh we've picked up a lot of concepts a lot of python basic concepts by just trying to reproduce this uh grocery uh, receipt uh the good thing about working on project like this is that it stimulates your your brain to see that wow you've done this and then it helps you learn more i uh, imagine if i just come here and i start saying that uh this is how string works this is how data type works this is how like i just give you theoretical knowledge without actually using that knowledge to build something so this is the best approach a project-based approach you build something using what you know and you use that to continue building or just experimenting with stuff so i challenge you to pick up something nice and with what you learned today try and reproduce that using python knowledge uh, so let's move on uh, to sort of close that i also want this uh, space at the end so if you run that i'll close this section with, with this bar right so if you go back to the receipt you see that uh, everything is looking really nicely you have a uh, grand total subtotal to grand total all nice so the last thing we need to do is we need to take care of this uh total number of items sold equals to seven and then the uh greeting message the return message and then the uh, appreciation message so that's actually very simple try and do that yourself we're not going to be printing out this barcode that's outside the scope of this project so let's get back in and then you can pause the video to sort of just reproduce just sort of print this and then print this return message uh, using the escape character uh, format string formatting rather that we've talked about great if you've done that so here's the solution let me put in the solution notice right here i have empty string which sort of just gives me space after this bar and then i'm printing number of total items sold of course i have my escape characters which introduces uh, the tab and then i have some spaces to help me align uh, the value nicely with what we have above and then i'm printing two empty string to give uh, the space and then i'm displaying the message using the f string uh, a tab with this escape character and then the return message which is the variable that i'm accessing right uh, up and then uh, the appreciation message uh, theory tabs so if you run this you notice that we have our receipt so go ahead and grab this screenshot share with your friends on twitter let them know what you actually uh, reproduce using the basic knowledge of python so these are the concepts that we covered in this tutorial we covered variables data type print statements date time string manipulations formatting strings indexing and slicing where we use that to display the date and we use that to display the time and we also use escape characters to introduce tab and just sort of space everything nicely the way it comes out in this uh, picture so go back to this and see what you've reproduced using python basic knowledge welcome to the end of this tutorial if you actually follow the tutorial to this end uh, thank you go ahead to subscribe if you want more content like this i'll be doing more project-based content where you pick up uh, knowledge theoretical knowledge by just reproducing something or building something because i consider that as the best way to learn look at a number of concepts that we've been able to pick up by just working on this project so subscribe share this video with your friend and i'll see you in the next one